Far above the ocean surface, aircraft hunt for an unseen enemy below the waves is extremely complex and difficult. Finding enemy submarines in a real-world situation is like finding a needle in a haystack. Anti-submarine missions can involve a lot of figuring out where an enemy is not and then closing in on the target, like playing the classic board game of Battleship, except in this case your opponent can see both sides of the board. Acoustic sensors look for sound pressure waves under the water, while electromagnetic sensors identify various parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. As for active sensors, they emit a shaped pulse of energy or a ping and collect a returning signal that has reflected of part of the submarine. Passive sensors, meanwhile, listen to and collect any noise in the environment, which hopefully includes an emission from the target. Let's check the details of these sensors used by aircraft to detect submarines. Sonoboys are cylindrical canisters dropped by parachute from an aircraft. They contain a special microphone called hydrophone tuned to the water and a radio transceiver to send the information back to the aircraft. When it hits the water, the sonoboy immediately deploys the hydrophone to a preset depth and erects a small floating antenna for a simple onboard radio to transmit the signal back to the aircraft. The range of sonoboys and where they should be placed depends on the target and the local environment and is one of the most highly classified areas in ASW operations. Sonoboys come in two basic varieties, active and passive. The passive sonoboy is a fairly simple, inexpensive hydrophone. Its sole job is to gather all the acoustic energy in the water and convert it to a radio signal, which is transmitted back to a computer processor on the aircraft. The active sonoboy, on the other hand, works like an underwater radar, but instead of radio waves, it transmits high-frequency sound waves that can be remotely controlled by the crew. Submarines are very quiet today, a lot of passive sonoboys detection ranges are extremely short. Some submarines are coated with sound-absorbing material, therefore it is very hard to detect with active sonoboys against this kind of submarines. Magnetic Anomaly Detector A MAD instrument detects minute variations in the Earth's magnetic field. A submerged submarine represents a mass of ferromagnetic material that creates a detectable disturbance in the Earth's magnetic field. Military MID equipment is a descendant of geomagnetic survey or aeromagnetic survey instruments used to search for minerals by detecting their disturbance of the normal earth field. The submarine must be very near the aircraft's position and close to the sea surface for detection of the anomaly, because magnetic fields decrease as the inverse cube of distance. The size of the submarine, its hull composition and orientation as well as the water depth and complexity of the natural magnetic field determine the detection range. It requires aircraft to fly very low over the surface. Equipment is large and heavy. For these reasons, MMAD boom is not included on the current USNP-8, the Navy's newest long-range maritime patrol aircraft. Subs can dive deeper to reduce their chances of being detected. Navies are trying to reduce the magnetic signature by running currents through the hull and using non-magnetic hull materials. The Russians have built submarines out of non-magnetic titanium and the new Swedish A26 class will be partially built out of carbon fiber, reinforced vinyl that is non-magnetic and five times stronger than steel. Radar can detect a submarine snorkel or periscope and the wake it creates. 
historically more useful for detecting subs on the surface, forcing them to spend more time on the water where they were less effective. Today, our improved radars can detect submarine periscopes and their wakes at significant distances, forcing subs to take only very short glimpses. The periscope is actually quite useful for IDing targets and obtaining ranges and headings much more quickly than stalking with the sonar alone. Radar technologies are developing faster than sonars. US Navy is testing a new radar pod that can detect submarines. The US Navy, in a break with traditional submarine detection, is working to replace sonar and magnetic detection with radar. The ANAPS-154 Advanced Airborne Sensor will spot the invisible wakes left by submarines underwater, telltale clues that something large is lurking beneath the waves. The AAS will be carried by the P-8 Poseidon aircraft, which can then engage submarines with airdrop and the submarine torpedoes. You may detect a submarine communicating over radio. You may also detect a submarine if it uses its radar with ASM systems, a radio transmission even though it only takes a split second to send can be picked up and give the submarine's bearing. If you are directly above a sub at shallow depth, you can see it. If you are lucky, you might spot a periscope wake. It's also unlikely you'll see a surface wake. At periscope depth, subs move very slowly, and at operating depth, surface wakes are extremely minute, likely undetectable even by a radar and advanced processing, although attempts have been made. A diesel-electric submarine without air-independent propulsion has to raise the schnorkel to run the diesels and charge the batteries. Electro-optical infrared sensor systems can detect exhaust fumes or periscopes wakes.